Hey everyone, welcome back to my Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. And we're gonna finish up, um, oh, right. No. Which one? Full on the hill. And then we're gonna help Doug Judy. Ow. If I could find the, let's see, where's this last? Talk to Misty. All right, um, it just keeps going. I don't know how long, but we'll go to Judy if we have time then. Shit, this doesn't seem to be take too long. Um, how do we get out of here? I saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? All just a bunch of tarot cards. I'm pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life, one that's soon to arrive. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together, discovered your potential. And where are we headed? Your destination is the world, the final arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory, or make peace. Could lose the war, too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm. Doesn't sound so bad, actually. It also represents a false world, the trap these desires lay for you. What's this judgment about? One possible future of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era and the call to rebirth, to a new beginning. <laughs> thanks. Didn't get much of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, 
Temperance, or the devil. Could just die. Not even get that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. That's all I can do to help. Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. If I um um sh showed it, but I put uh, reduced reload time and apply damage related status effects by um, Johnny's gun. herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her Stop ass. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Checked your pulse? V. She's gone. How'd this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out, and I got back to... <laughs> Fuck. If I'd just known, I'd have... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch you 24-7. She made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. The least we can do is treat her with some dignity. Hey, 
Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of death don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. They told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know... To you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But they must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? The fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But. Right now, I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Well, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition... Couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So... Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. No idea that guy was such a monster. I saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. 
Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Pretty much thought what was what what this mission what happened. I'm pretty thought. What? Pretty much guessed. I didn't say anything, but in my head. Anyway, uh, right. Pan Am. Which one's Pan Am? With a little help. Okay, that's it. Let's go.
Oh, don't bug me, kid. Want to see what you got in stock? Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? Crunch. Uh, no. All right. Uh, probably not anything better. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotech? Hey, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had B come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit. Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2016 Fire and Mike. So. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board.
And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent, let's get going. Yeah, cause I crashed my car getting here. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Hey, oh, you. Holders. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even had. Gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. It's better to make a good second impression on the biotechnic suit. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. So much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. 
Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. it is then. From the outside, inside, and from the outside. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you come on. Free. Like you set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply. thing. Nada. Nothing here. Nothing here. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> no time mm. like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell.
Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one somewhere. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap, too. I'll just lie here a while. 
by her side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Showtime. Let's ride, V.
Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
All right, that's uh, that's good. What else has we got? Queen of the Highway. What is this? Wait until the day. Okay. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video now. Maybe next time we'll do this one, and then. All right, or this, I don't know. All right, I'll decide when we get to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.